Eminem just leaked the whole concept of his new album and we got so much to go through. Past few months, there's been plenty of rumors from a Slim Shady LP2 to a Relapse 2, all the way to some whole new concept, but we finally have an answer on what we're getting. Now, 30 minutes ago, Eminem's support team posted Eminem's 12th studio album, The Death of Slim Shady, will be coming this summer, 2024. Here's the trailer. Criticized tongue-twisting rhymes, the blonde anti-hero known as... <laughs> has had no shortage of enemies. Is that a friend? Is this so obviously from right here, we have this guy at the crime scene with the cops in the background. We have the murder weapon, you could say. You got 50 Cent talking, which could be a potential feature, but I'll just play the rest. Is that a friend? He's a psychopath. The same rude lyrics and controversial antics may have ultimately led to his demise. So who killed Slim Shady? Join me as we recreate the events that led to the murder of Slim Shady. I knew it was just a matter of time for Slim. Oh. Now back to this frame, we see the death of Slim Shady, summer 2024, which is what we predicted. We knew it would come out this year, and I honestly think this picture in the background is probably the album cover. Now some of you might be thinking, this means Eminem's retiring, right? The death of Slim Shady, Eminem is Slim Shady. But I don't think so. I don't think he's retiring. I think just like a relapse, how it had the whole story, or just like the Slim Shady LP, it's going to be a whole story about the death of Slim Shady, obviously. I think he's going to walk through like the crime scene, who killed him. Maybe it'll be like a mystery where you learn as you go. But he said multiple times that he doesn't really relate to Slim Shady anymore. So he could just be killing off the character. Now, if that is true, this has potential to be amazing because relapse is insane. Music to be murdered by had that whole theme to it as well, which people loved. And there's a very good chance that we get more of that funny, goofy, comedic side of Eminem, which is what we all love. Now, there's a good chance the album has a lot of old school production, maybe like The Alchemist. We know Dr. Dre's on it. He confirms that right here. And he holds his music close to his chest, so I haven't heard everything. I haven't even heard everything complete that I've done, but I'm gonna hear it and... So there you go. This is one month ago, but I'm sure he's heard it all by now and it's all mixed. Now, back to the release date. I really feel like it's gonna be May, June, or July. Usually when artists put out summer albums, they want it in the beginning of the summer so that people have all summer to stream it with their days off like we saw travis scott do that last year with utopia but no matter what part of summer that means at the latest four months until this next album which is not that far away and back to this being his final album i really don't think so like i said the slim shady character could easily be getting killed off he still has the marshall mathers character and obviously the eminem but i really think he just wants to move away from that subject matter once and for all, even on Music To Be Murdered By, he talked about a lot of those dark, relapse style songs. And I think he just wants to get away from that style. He's going to move back to the emotionally open and raw Eminem that he wants to do. And that just doesn't really line up with the Slim Shady character, which is fine. So yeah, I really don't think this will be his last album. Another thing to prove that is Curtain Call 3. Curtain Call 3 isn't confirmed, but it's definitely been mentioned a lot. There's been a lot of buzz about that recently. I don't know if that's a coincidence or not, but if there is a Curtain Call 3, that means that this is his only album between Curtain Call Call 2 and 3, which wouldn't be enough to make a whole Greatest Hits 3. Maybe he could take hits that missed Curtain Call 1 and 2 and put them on there, but I really think he's going to need more projects to fill a Curtain Call 3 if he does that. But yeah, either way, he's probably going to make more after this. Something else I thought was interesting is this right here. Notice he has no beard. This is a frame from that clip, which means he shaved it to look like Slim Shady, unless this is like AI or something. But it really doesn't look like it. This looks like Eminem. Either way, that's more proof of him going back into the Slim Shady character. I think there's a good chance we get songs about Slim Shady dying, kind of like Bad Guy, the last verse on Bad Guy. But it's going to be like killing off the character. And this is going to be amazing. The storytelling is going to be crazy. I'm calling it now, which means that the replay value is going to be great. So we're going to be able to listen to it back to back to back without getting sick of it. But yeah, Eminem has sold the most records of any rapper of all time. He has one of the biggest and most dedicated and loyal fan bases, as you can tell by the comments on my videos. And I don't think his love for music is going to die anytime soon. I think he's always going to have that love to put out music, put out albums, put out singles, features, all that. I don't see him giving up music just yet. Something else that is totally possible is old Eminem versus new Eminem flows on it. On the Eminem Show Expanded Edition, he dropped something called Jimmy, Brian, and Mike, which is a mix of old Eminem vocals he recorded in 2002 and new Eminem vocals, and they blend perfectly. And he plays multiple characters with them. I really think he can do that with this new album. Imagine like old Eminem dissing new Eminem for the way he is, and then new Eminem talking about how he didn't like how Slim Shady lived his life. All I'm saying is there could be some crazy storytelling, crazy like self diss tracks, I guess you could say. And there is some big potential for this album. But yeah, that's all we know for now. That's all that's confirmed. He just dropped that trailer, so maybe he'll drop a song tonight. I don't know. Either way, if he drops any more information, I'll make a video on it as soon as I can. And if you want to watch more Eminem videos, I got a playlist right up here. Tons of Eminem videos, reactions, ranking, theories, brackets, all of that. So if you want to watch more Eminem videos, click right up there. Thank you for watching. Peace out.